Good morning. Literally just woke up. I'm gonna hit the gym this morning and do the workout that I got from Coach Sean. I'm kind of excited, not gonna lie. No flavor whatsoever. She's okay. Let's go to the gym. Do I look horrible? Definitely. But do I care? Nope. <laughs> Oh, okay. Got my water bottle. I got my coffee. I got you guys. And I got a lot of shit to do. But before that, I thought I wanted to share to you what my first day going to the gym feels like and what can i learn from it okay so the first thing that i did wrong was i didn't bring my headphones i think that's really important because you do want to be in the zone and if there are other people at the gym they're definitely gonna make noises and you just don't know what kind of noise that they're gonna make so it's really the best for you to have that noise cancelling in and do what you gotta do just focus on yourself and don't let anyone bother you either because when i was there there's one guy that's literally moaning and I'm just not a fan of it. Definitely not blaming him for doing that to each their own and this is a public gym so yeah that's number one. Number two, don't be afraid to ask questions to the staff if they were there. At the time, there were Daniel, which is the owner of the gym, which is great because I wasn't sure of the machine that I was supposed to be using and he showed me how to use the machine and that actually really helped. So yeah, ask questions if you don't know anything and if there's no staff around, you can probably ask someone who's working out there. I believe that anyone who puts their mind into going to the gym are honestly great people. First of all, they want to be better for themselves and if it was me i would definitely try to be the best help that i could if someone needs it or if someone asks me about something but yeah go ask questions number three it actually really helps that i have the app with coach sean to guide me on what kind of workout that i needed to do at the gym if i didn't have the guide i would be completely clueless they're probably gonna crush me and i don't want to go to the gym anymore because everything is just so overwhelming but having a set of guide really helped me easing my anxiety going to gym for the first time for sure and number four i didn't know about this before but daniel told me this when i was asking him about a machine i was really unfamiliar with using machine at the gym so i'm really glad he was there to show me i showed him the app and the exercise that i wanted to do and if you look at the video they're using this attachment i didn't even know that there is different attachment i probably would just use whatever attachment that's already in there but yeah apparently there's like different attachment that you can change around and different attachment actually hits different part of your body so it's really good to know that oh my god my stomach just Rowling. And then after that, the next question that I asked him is how much weight is good for me to start with? And then he's like, oh, I don't know how strong you are. At the time, the plate was on number four. I tried to pull it. I was like, oh, I think it's okay. And the first set, we did like 12 reps. To me, it was pretty heavy, but I could do 12. And then he asked me, can you do 15? And I'm like, I think I could do 15. And then he's like, then you can go higher. I was like, what actually? Yeah. So then he put the plate on number five. And then when I pull it, I was like, this is heavy. And he's like, I think you can do it. I did the exercise. And by the time I hit to 10 reps, my hands were like shaking. I told him, this is really hard. But you could do 12. Yeah, I could do 12, but that's really hard. Then that's the perfect weight for you. And then he continued saying that you have to keep that in mind for any other type of workout or exercises you do at the gym with the weight. When you're doing your reps with the weight, you do want to feel like after finishing the reps, you just can't go anymore. That it took 100% the energy 
energy out of you to do that rep. That's how you're gonna see results with your workout. And I'm like, oh, okay, understood. And then he actually used the person who moans a lot as a reference. He said, you want to work out like him because he's putting his 110% effort. Wow. But that's really hard to do. I don't even know if I can do another set of that because that's really hard. And then he's like, exactly. That's why rest is important. And I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. Because when I went to the app, after each workout, it gives me like one minute rest. And I was like, why the rest is so long? I can do the next workout straight away. And now it makes sense because if you're using the right weight and that you give your 110% effort to do the workout with the right way to do need that one minute rest and i was like okay that makes sense now that makes a lot of sense so yeah if you're new into the gym and you don't know this hopefully this will be a good guide the last thing is probably to actually make sure that you have the right form to do any types of exercise because you don't want to injure yourself and i'm really scared still because my lower back is still kind of like I don't know, sometimes I'm scared that I'm gonna hurt it again because with any type of workout, I feel like I'm gonna hurt my lower back. So yeah, it's always in the back of my head. So I need to actually watch the view over and over again and listen to the guide that my coach told me. And it also helped that I record all of my workout and then I send it to him so that he can check my form, if it's right or not. Because without the right form, you might waste your time at the gym. For example, if you want to tone your butt, but it grows your thigh, that would be a disaster and that's what I don't want to do as well. But anyway, that's what I feel on my first day at the gym. It's a good one. And yeah, whenever you sign up for a gym, definitely get the free trial or wait for a really good promo. That's it for my first day. And let's go at it. Beat the procrastination. Let's go. Let's go. back to editing so i'm gonna see you after i edit okay hello i haven't finished editing yet but i should eat so let's heat up some leftovers so we have out this Avoid or something like that. 